hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another recap movie review so this movie was brought to me by bt plus and it was just dropped and it's called my first noel starring tyler perry's sisters novi brown mm -hmm. give it up for her she's doing big things so far just i think her second or third movie i done seen of hers so she's doing big things and todd anthony and Lala Milan. Mm-hmm. That being said, yes, yes, yes. So let's get into it. So, of course, it's a Christmas movie, but I don't know why they drop a Christmas movie so early. But, anyways, let's get into it. So, okay. Novi Brown, she plays Noel. Todd Anthony plays Terrence. They were best friends working at a a publishing company, I believe, in the beginning. Best friends turned boyfriend and girlfriend. And then, out of the blue, he was offered a job at... Offered a job in London. So, instead of... Instead of, you know... I guess... How would I say? Instead of her going with him, she decided to that they both decided mutually decided that they were going to um you know go their separate ways and focus on their careers rather than their relationships because at the end of the day they were best friends and like they said sometimes you don't want to you know have relations with your best friends but then again that kind of um lets off a different type of vibe but anyways they went their separate ways. He went to London. She stayed back to focus more on her career. So that way she can start, you know, doing what she want to do. She want to get her imprint so that way she can start signing um authors and pu publishing the books that she want to publish. And stuff like that. So basically she worked her way up. Fast forward a year later, she ends up staying with her sister, her husband, and her nephew. They got like this huge house. Huge, huge house. So, she's working at this company called Rise Publishing. And things are going well. Her boss name is Sabrina. It's funny because it's Tyler Perry's sister. Her name is Sabrina. So, it's funny. So, Noelle's working at Rise Publishing. Her boss, Sabrina. She's hosting this annual Christmas party. And since she was the only person, you know, in town to work it because she ain't got a life or whatever, you know, she ain't got no manager. She's got, a, you know, she was there to help. So she was insisted to help Sabrina function the party, pick a catering, help with the, the decorations and everything. So doing so, she had an interview at her house, right? It didn't go too well <laughs> because all you hear in the background is the baby crying. And then as I was about to close out... Her nephew bops her in the head. All you see in the camera is a, a stuffed animal fly and hit her right on her head. And then after that, um, Noelle tells her sister Sandra, like, listen, you know, I had this interview and stuff like that. But it's like, her sister's like, well, dang, I understand this is my house, but I let you live here at the same time. But, you know, some things I can't really take control. You know, kids will be kids. So eventually she's like, there will be another time and that she'll be coming up for another promotion. So... After that, she starts getting ready for work. Terrence calls her and tells her that he might be coming back home for Christmas. And she's taking it as an opportunity to like, okay, that's cool, you know, whatever the case may be. So she gets to work. And one of the authors that she's working with named Vincent Downing, he published two books already. And he's like... You can tell that he got a thing for her, but she's not quite picking up on it just yet. So while she's in her meeting with him, Knox um, in walks a, a delivery guy with some flowers. And she's like, um, deliveries, you can only take that up with the secretary. And he was like, this is a personal delivery. Come to find out, it was Terrence who decided to come home earlier than expected and she was happy and it was kind of like she her and Terrence just started talking and chopping it up mind you Vincent is still sitting there by the office but in the office by the um desk actually 
And he just like, <clears throat> and then she was like, oh, my bad, I'm sorry. This is, you know, she introduced them to them. And he was like, good to meet you and stuff like that. So eventually, Terrence leaves and Vincent was like, well, um, he tried to talk to her, but, you know, Terrence came in, so they kind of spoiled their uh, mood or whatever. So eventually, Vincent left and... They was going to continue their meeting the next day. And Terrence and no, um, Noel was going to finish, you know, catching up and stuff like that. But Terrence had to leave because he got a phone call. So then after that, Sabrina walks in. She was like, listen, I need you to do this for me for the... What, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, the decorations for the party. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. But then again, she changed her mind because... Terrence also invited her out that night to go to dinner. And she was like, sure, I'll go. So she goes home and she tells Sandra. And Sandra helps her pick out an outfit. When she comes into the restaurant where they're at Bar Grill, she looks nice. She had this nice, I would say, like caramel mocha dress with her hair pinned up and everything. She looks cute. And she was just like... <sighs> He, not, he don't look too bad, so. So, this girl walks up, and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm not ready to order yet. She was, he was like, um, Terrence like, um, she's not the waitress. <laughs> Come to find out, that was his girlfriend. And her name is Noelle, too, but she goes by L. So, we got Noelle, no, and then we have Noelle, L. Like, ooh, that's like a recipe for disaster. So, eventually... They're having a great dinner, but um, Noelle, she gets um goes into the bathroom and she tells her sister, like, listen, this is the wrong idea. He has a girlfriend and stuff like that. So, she, so Sandra was like, listen, you still got time to make him yours. So you got to pull out all the stops and try to get your man back. So she returns back to dinner. She, they, you know, chopping up, whatever. She also tells, Elle also um was like, well, I don't know. Basically, Elle told Noelle about her book and how she wants to um, start working with the publishing company back in the States. And Terrence kind of like, like, listen, she's doing good. She has a, a huge following and she's doing big overseas and she's making a lot of money. She's an influencer, uh, Insta model, whatever the case may be. So eventually... L gives Noel a copy of her signed book saying to my man's closest friend. <laughs> like, okay. So the next day she goes to work and she starts reading her book. And then Sabrina was like, Listen, how did the day go with Terrence? She was like, It went it went okay. And then and Tommy has girlfriend, her name is L something. She said, L Carver. Oh yeah, she's good. Her book is good. She's also good at helping women to unlock and unleash for success basically giving them good positive affirmation and daily reminders that you could do anything you put your mind to so eventually uh noel was like listen maybe i can get her to sign on to us and sabrina was like that that would be a good job good idea because then we can sign her before the party you know you'll be able to get that promotion and get your own imprint so she was like okay that's good so noel took that under under consideration, you know, started to befriend her and stuff like that because she also has like a two for one plan. She wants to get her man back, also try to get her own promotion so she, she can start doing what everybody else does. So that goes to show everything was starting to go good. They started becoming best friends. Also, Vincent, he was still trying to talk to her. She started switching up her clothes. He noticed her in this nice green dress she had. And she turned him down. I know his feelings look kind of hurt, but whatever. So, that was that. Eventually, Terrence and Noel, they started, you know, back, you know, how they used to be with their um hanging out and stuff like that. So, that one night, they was baking cookies or whatever after work. And let's just say it almost ended up into a kiss, but she ended up spilling, I guess, her hot chocolate or coffee on his shirt and right when he took his shirt off Sandra walks in and was like ooh 
would think about they did the do, but they didn't do the do. It just so happens that's just what it but they were stumbling over their words, like bro. So the next day or so they had a uh Noel invited Terrence to a catering tasting party so that they could, you know, hang out some more while Elle was doing other stuff that she had to do. And Noel was flirting with the chef. And you could see on his face, on Terrence's face, that he looked like, okay. I don't know how to take it because... Right now, it's basically like he's giving out mixed signals to her, basically leading her on, but not really saying nothing to her. So, yeah. Long story short, I don't want to keep boring y'all, talking y'all to death. Like, long story short, Elle finds out that Noel was Terrence's ex at his family's annual um dinner they have. And... And let's just say things went crazy. They end up having Sabrina end up having her Christmas party. Um, Elk went there. Everybody looking nice. Elk went there because of the advisement of her, her lawyer. And she was able to talk to Noel was able to talk to Elle and let her know, like, listen, he loves you. He told me he loves you. And I want you to just hear him out and we're best friends. I will always love him. Like, I've known him for since we was little kids. So, eventually, Noelle told Elle that Terrence was there. And she was, and Elle was like, why is he here? Because he loves you and he wants to be here. He, he wants you for you and stuff like that. So, eventually, Terrence and Elle, they worked out their problems. And whatever Noelle told Elle worked because, you know, they were back on good graces. Um, Sabrina, she ended up getting her boo from the party. So she got a man. And Noel, she finally like let go and let God take control. And she got Vince and he finally, you know, gave her another chance. That was crazy how she turned him down though. So she was like, Vincent, do um do um would you like to go over me? He was like and I don't know. He was like, yeah, I will. So come to find out his books was based on him trying to get with her for the longest. So in his book, he's Eugene and she's Carla. So, yeah. So now he's talking about maybe one day they'll get married and stuff like that. And also, at the end, is finally Christmas. And Noel finally tells... Her sister and brother-in-law that she's moving out. She got enough money saved up. So now that she got her new job promotion, she can move. And they were so excited after that. <laughs> David, uh, the, her um, brother-in-law, went upstairs. He was like, listen, I'm about to go help you move your stuff out right then and there. Then she asked her sister. She was like, Sandra, is he serious? She was like, yeah. Oh, no, David, I don't need to touch my stuff. And after that, the movie went off. That movie was so good. I just wish it was a little bit longer. All in all, you can't rush people to love you. They got to be willing to do that on their own. Let go and let God. Just go with the flow. Some things are meant to happen and some things aren't. Like sometimes the past is the past for a reason. People come in your life for a reason or a season. Pick which one you want, okay? All right. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recap. Y'all can check it out at BT Plus, BT Plus the app. It's really good. I watched it twice. <laughs> like, really, I watched it twice. That's how good it was for me. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this recap. Hopefully, I wasn't all over the place, but yeah, yeah, okay. And y'all got the good parts, okay? So, with that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.